Hi, welcome to Sending Gold Dad, I'm Mark. If you're new here, please subscribe. Today we're going to have a look at some of the scale cast moulds and how we paint them up for a stone and brick effect. For some of the other walling effect on the layouts, I use the scale cast moulds. So here we have a stone type wall, and here we have a brick type wall. So they come in moulds. I've done a video before on how to pour out scale cast, I'll link that below. But these are just some of the things I can use. So these now I'm going to paint up so you can see how they look. So the first job to do with these is give them just a, a grey coat, a light grey coat as a, an undercoat and then we'll start the detailing from there. We've got our grey there, which is just mixing white with a drop of black and some thinners mixed up. So I'm just going to paint it on. So this is the wall section from Scalecast. You're just painting it on. Okay, make sure you get into all the crevices. So you want to give this a good coat. Because this is your base coat. As well as that, you want to make sure any flash is removed and it, it sits flat, so they can join together. And there we go. It's thinned down quite well, this paint, so it will find its own level between all the crevices. You wouldn't want to put the paint on too thick because it will obscure some of the detail. Some of the tricks to painting these is to do it in several layers and not try and rush it and do it in one thick layer. Okay, so that's one of the worn sections. They come with these ends so you can join them together. So it's like a, a gate post. So again, just paint it in grey. Now these are the brick walling sections. They come in a couple of different sizes, again with pillars and they even come with capping stones. So again, I'll just give this a coat of grey. Again, this has got much finer detail on it. So you want the paint, again, to be thin, otherwise it obscures the detail. So I use these for sort of town scenes, terraced housing, gardens, that sort of thing. Because these are used out in the countryside where you would traditionally see stone walls. Okay, so I'll let that dry and then we'll come back to how we do some of the detailing on it. There's the base layer of paint on. So what we're going to do now is pick out some of the details just using some different shades. So I've just mixed up some different greys. We'll just pick out some of the stones. You can even use some earth colours. 
So it can look like there's some sandstone in amongst it. It looks a bit too bright, don't worry about it, because we will be going back over it with a black wash, and that will tone down some of the colours. Even use your finger just to mix in some of the colours to give you some variation. There's some of the stone wall sections now painted with some of the stones picked out in different colours. We'll come back later once this is dried and put a black wash over them. We have our piece of wall now ready for black washing. So this is some black paint thinned down with water and some thinners. I'm going to make it as watery as possible, and we just get it and brush it on. You can see how it runs into all the crevices. And then we just want to gently dab and wipe off the excess. And you can see how it's turned down the colours and started to blend them in. So the wall's taking on a much natural appearance. Um, we'll just repeat it on the rest of the pieces. There we go, all the sections have been blackwashed. Now we'll do a little bit of dry brushing with some white, just to highlight some of the areas. So you can get a, a stiff brush. Make sure you wipe off most of the paint. You want to do this sort of in a, a downward motion. And it just highlights some of the raised areas to give you different contrasts on the stone. There we go. You can see it highlights some of the raised areas. We're going to repeat the process now on the tunnel mouth. It's already been painted grey as an undercoat. And now we're just going to highlight some of the stones with some different colours. Over here I have some colours. I'm just going to mix. And thin them out. And again, just go through and highlight some individual stones. As you can see, I'm not too worried about mixing the colours together, as it just gives you various tones that you can use for different colour stonework. So I'll carry on doing this. Here's a tunnel mouth and side parts complete. Uh, I've coloured in some different bricks and I've applied a black wash to them, so I'll leave them to dry. Let's look at the brick wall sections. So we've got a grey primer coat on there, so now we're just going to paint it with a red. This is just some red thinned down. And we're just going to give it a coat to represent the red brick. So 
So I'll carry on doing this. It may take a, a couple of coats to cover the grey. So I'll do that, let it dry and come back. So it's the same idea as with a stone wall. We're going to use some different shades of red just to highlight some of the bricks. There you can see some different shades just to highlight some of the brickwork. So what I'm going to do is let them dry and then I'm going to go over them with, I'll do one with a black wash and one with a white wash so you can see the difference. There's the two pieces now, one black wash, one white wash, so you can just see the difference how it picks out the mortar, or a dark mortar, or a lighter coloured. Hope you find that useful, so please don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.